Hello everyone and welcome to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to hide certain pages from a certain users based on your requirement. For, for example, I have two user IDs within my organization and I have four different pages over here. Let's say for example, for user ID ismail at mitutorials.onmicrosoft.com, I want to showcase or display all the four pages that I have in my report over here. Uh, but for test user at MI Tutorials, I just want to display two of the pages over here. For example, beverages and fruits and I want to hide pages bakery and snacks from the test user ID. So how do we do this? This is what I will be teaching you today. So let's get started with this tutorial. A couple of things to keep in mind before we get started is that the first thing is that if you have very sensitive information in your report, I would suggest that you do not use this particular workaround. And the second thing is that this particular workaround is not going to work when you have drill through option in your report. So let's get started. So first of all, let's go ahead and hide all the pages that I have over here, except for one of the landing page, which in my case is bakery, which has access to both the users. Now that I have hidden all the pages over here, let me show you the data model that I have. I have a very simple fact table or the sales table over here. I will have to create a new table defining the roles of those users. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on enter data from the home tab. For now, I'm just entering the data over here. If you have this on your Excel sheet, you can import that as well. So I'm going to add two columns over here. One is user ID and the second column is the page over here. So I have two user IDs. I'm going to use the user IDs over here and paste the information. So for example, ismail at mitutorials.com will have access to all the pages. So what I will do is I will type in manually all the names of those pages over here. So I'm going to type in snacks. So now I have entered the information over here for the user ismail. He is going to have access to all of the four users and for the test user, he is going to have access to category or the page bakery and he's going to have access to the page snacks. He's not going to have access to beverages and fruits over here. So let me just delete this row and then I'm going to call this as RLS and then I'm going to click on load. So now that the table is loaded over here, I have this particular table with two columns, uh, user ID and page. Let's go ahead and define an RLS over here. Let's go to the modeling tab and click on manage roles. So I have two different tables over here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new uh, RLS let me just delete the previous one that I had let me create a new RLS over here and call this as page underscore RLS over here you can click on add so once you have this select user ID from the drop down and for some reason I probably I don't know if it's a bug or what but when you enter the details over here the RLS is not working for me at least for me I'm not sure about others so what I would like to do is I would like to switch to the DAX editor and then get rid of the double equals to over here and type in user principal name principal name and open and close the parenthesis like this and then you can click on save so once this is saved over here you'll get a message saying that it's successfully applied i'm going to click on close and now what i will do is i'm going to select the page that we added from the rls table and change this to a slicer and now let's go to the format tab, go to visual and the slicer settings, make sure that you turn on single select and you can reformat the slicer uh, based on your requirement. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the insert tab, click on button and then click on right arrow over here and I'm going to just leave it like this. I'm going to assign an action to this particular button over here. So I'm going to turn on action, go to type and click on page navigation and destination there are different pages that are available over here but what we really need is the conditional formatting i'm going to press on the fx button over here it's going to be based on the field value what field should we base this on this should be from the rls table you will have to select the page field that we added and leave it at the summarization as first and then click on ok so let's test this out now. Let me just bring this down a little bit. And now when I go to modeling tab, I can click on view as and then select the role that we created and click on other user and enter the ID over here, test user at MI tutorials. I'm going to click on OK. You will see that I'm only able to see two different pages over here, which is bakery and snacks. 
and then I can choose what, whichever page that I want to and go to that particular page. I can click control plus on this button over here. It will take me to the page snacks over here. Likewise, I have a back button. I can cl click on that and go back to my uh, bakery page over here. Likewise, if I view the role here as the other user, which was a smile at MITutorials.com, I'm going to click on OK. You will see that I'm now viewing as a smile at MITutorials, but all of the pages that I have on my report are now visible. And then I can navigate to any of the sheet that I want based on my requirement. I'm going to click on fruits, then click on go. And you can see that I've now landed in the fruits and veggies category page. So this is how you can hide certain pages from certain users within Power BI. This is purely a workaround. Power BI does not have a feature which will let us do the uh, RLS based on the pages. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.